And again, what's happening, everyone? Eric Levy here. You watch my YouTube vlog, which my sentimental thoughts come from the heart and soul, my mental oddball shenanigans come from the mind and brain. It's the CML 77 TV episode 724. Uh, how's everyone doing on this lovely um, 4th of July weekend? It's not going to be much happening because uh, the pandemic has really just basically ruined our summer. Basically, this will be probably the summer that wasn't, but you know what? It could be still the summer that is. is. But the only difference is no Whaling City Festival happening, uh, no Portuguese feast. So usually July is my favorite time, uh, favorite month of the summer. But unfortunately, COVID-19 this year says, uh-uh. You know, and uh, namely the government who probably got their heads up their rear ends or in the sand, either way, kind of ruined our summer, unfortunately. That's the way it is. That's the way it shall be. And it's the way it is, is the way it be. And I'll tell you one thing right now. It has not been a pretty, pretty time, of course. Um, so what am I going to do? So I asked my family the world. Dumbest question. What are we going to do on July 4th? Nothing. As my father said. My father told me nothing. Snake tips, beef tips, and I'm like, you know. Anyways, um, just really, really a stone bummer, dude. So, like, okay, I know exactly what to do is kind of sleep in tomorrow and wake up a little bit during probably 9, 9, 10 o'clock because I have tomorrow off. Plus, I'll watch the hot dog eating contest marathon at ESPM. They're having it this year. But the only difference is going to be less people inside a warehouse, no crowd, no fans. Everybody's going to be spread out. Um, and, then, and all that. I don't know how New York is going to. I heard my father told me. My father said there'll be like six people in there. But you know, Joey Chestnut's going to be in this thing. Matt Stoney is not. Well, guess what? You know who I'm picking to win. That's right. Joey Chestnut will win again for a fifth consecutive time. That's my prediction. But they're going to do it. They're having a marathon beforehand. So yeah, 2020 officially kind of sucks if you ask me. Yep, it is totally reeking. I've been trolled on YouTube once again. Uh, but, you know, but it is, I know, what you know, it's, it's, it's really, like, totally ridiculous, utter ridiculousness. This year has been utter ridiculousness, man, let me tell you. Um, I, well, but all I can do is just, um, you know, just trying to ride out this year and see what's, what's going to happen next. Uh, there's some big news from wrestling, though, um. Uh, there's a rumor going around about Kyrie saying, what is she going to do? The rumor has it that she may go back to Japan, uh, her con- when she got her contract, stuff to be with her husband. Maybe she may be t- wrestle one year in Japan while retire. I don't know what's going I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to believe any rumors until Kyrie Sane makes the, de- makes the decision. It's up to her what decision she has to be made. I'm, you know, we're all hope, I'm hoping and praying that she stays around in the WWE. At least try to get another championship title. We'll see what happens. I know she's been hit with a, you know, in the head one too many times. It was concern, uh, concussion concerns and all that. And, um, you know, if I were Kyrie Sane, I would stick around. Because if you get Kyrie Sane eliminated from the WWE, so to speak, if she leaves the WWE, that's another woman that is going that will leave the, uh, the Raw Women's Division in a little bit of a skeleton crew. So as well. And that could, but if that could be the case, it could mean uh, an op- huge opportunity to move, you know, to, to acquire uh, Tessa Blanchard. But like I said, you know, where, you know, a few episodes ago, in fact, episode 716, if you want to, um, that's eight episodes ago, um, where, you know, if, you know, if Kyrie Sane does, in fact, make a decision to say, I'm stepping off the of WWE, I'm going back to Japan, and my con- I'll let my contract run out and all that, that could, that could mean, you know, the WWE could step up and uh, take take Tessa Blanchard, and that could be the only thing I can think of, because that will be three women out when it goes. You got Becky out for a year due to maternity leave. You got Charlotte Flair out for a significant amount of time for the arm surgery. And if Kyrie Sane ends, ends up leaving and all that, um, it could that's another um, quality woman added. Um, eliminated from the Raw Women's Division, so you're going to have to make some mix and matches, and possibly, um, and that could possibly uh, be, um, hey, get Tessa to go to Monday Night Raw, and that could, so we'll see what happens, it all depends what Kyrie, Kyrie Sane's decision is going to be, 
you know, you know, and we we all we gotta do is respect it. And there's no way. That's my perspective on that. Wait until she actually makes the decision because usually um, Kyrie Shane is a very private person as well. She doesn't reveal much about her life and what her decisions are going to be. We'll find out um, as we uh, go along. Um, so also be- other bit of wrestling news too. The WWE has acquired Evolve Wrestling. So what does that mean? Do, do they get all the talent for Evolve Wrestling? That could help out in. That could help out some of the move, and if you got some of the women in Evolve Wrestling, uh, go to NXT, and then you got and and have some um, NXT established stars on on the women's um, roster could make some room and put some on Raw. That could that could help out as well. We'll see and we'll find out how the WWE will deal will go about Evolve Wrestling and how they deal with that. So um, that's another thing to uh, keep in mind. Um, another thing to uh, bear in mind as well. Uh, as you know, on the last two episodes, I've been talking about, you know, I've been going back to my Christian music roots, um, my contemporary Christian music, since I am a member of, of, of my church's praise and worship team, even though we have not done any uh, praise and worship songs since, you know, since uh, the pandemic had happened. So, unfortunately, we can't do anything else. So, <clears throat> so I want to continue on with my top uh, ten, personal ten uh, favorite songs from contemporary Christian artists. Um, there are three... Um, uh, one group and two so- soul artists I have still have to do: Amy Grant, Michael W. Smith, and Petra, and, and another group, the Newsboys. Definitely the Newsboys. Um, definitely the Newsboys have been, you know. So I'm trying to figure out some of my top ten favorite songs. Michael W. Smith and the, the Newsboys, and, pa- and Amy Grant could be easy. Petra though is going to be a tough one. So we'll, we'll see uh, what happens in that um, in that whole scenario. <coughs> so as you know, if you hear the wind going off, um, if you hear a little bit of wind, um, I am trying to cool off because it's been a hot, it's been a hot day. As you, um, it's been hot, you know, summer. Usually July and August are the hottest, hottest months of the summer. And uh, as you know, I have made, I am clean, um, washing my sheets, as, uh, my bedding as usual. Uh, because of COVID nineteen, I figured I'm not going to take any chances on that. So. Uh, so yeah, this summer is going to be a very challenging summer this year. Um, I can I have a hunch about that, and that, that could be that could be pretty big. And uh, we'll see what happens from, from here on in. Um, it has been you know um, 2020. You know we're halfway through the year. Of course, baseball is trying to come make a comeback. We'll see what happens. Rumor has it the Red Sox may end up picking up. Uh, rumor has it about Red Sox picking. up. Um, making a, a play to acquire Yasiel Puig. That would be very interesting if that happens. I mean, without Mookie Betts, in the, without Mookie Betts now with the Dodgers, uh, we need another another uh, extra bat in that lineup. And you know, I know people are saying, no, we don't want him because the attitude wise and all that. And everybody thinks they're Bill Belichick all of a sudden. And he's like, yeah, but, you know, it's a um, different sports, man. You know, so that's a huge thing. Um, as you know, I did talk about a few episodes ago that the Patriots acquired Cam Newton. Uh, which again, it will be uh, very interesting to say um, to say the least. Um, you know, I, you know, a lot of things are going um, going through my mind here, and it's only July third, so it's uh, so it'd be very interesting to see what what's gonna what's gonna play out for the rest of this month. And uh, as you know, um, like I said, this ne- next weekend will be will start the uh, Festival Cup Championship. Uh, between the Dragon, uh, Dartmouth Dragons and the uh, Freetown Knights in my Big League Slugger Baseball PlayStation One game, I will um, will be uh, playing. I'll be alternate uh, alternating teams as player one. I'll start off with the Dragons in game one, then in game two I will play as the Freetown Knights. Game three, and uh, cause I think the the odd number games I will play as the Dartmouth Dragons in this eight game series. And then the even number of games I will play as the Freetown Knights. So you, you a one player perspective, give the fair teams a fair chance to win and all that good stuff to make things make the series very interesting, to say the least. Uh, like I said, um next weekend was supposed to be the Wellington City Festival, but with that being postponed to a later date, uh, this was this was what got, and, and it will be po- it is postponed to a later date, and, and the reason being is that Mike Sylvia, the new president, still wants the Wellington City Festival to happen, um, because because it is the 50th year of the Wellington City Festival, 
but with it not, with it not, um without it happening this year it's going to be um it could it could be a waste so and i think um planning it in fact mayor john mitchell says that anything after labor day can be planned so that's the that's the main goal so right now the summer is going to be uh going to be a rough one on the kids especially on the kids cuz they're probably going to go crazy hopefully um Parents can think of something next time. And, uh, and you know what, kids? If your summer is awful, you can have the government to thank that. Yeah. You can you can blame the U.S. government, but you can also blame our local government. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, or we can blame ourselves because you know, this morning, oh boy, I was working this morning, and somebody left a bag. Uh, somebody in Foot Locker left a bag, garbage bag out there, and the birds attacked it. Garbage is all over the place. Then I came up with the ultimate conclusion that it wasn't some guy returning from China after eating bat soup that that started the COVID thing. It's us. We're litter bugs. We gotta stop being litter bugs because that pollutes the air, causes the virus. That's what all I can think of. Air pollution. You know, we got us. You know, I felt I felt like oh, when you're gonna be uh, caring about the environment all of a sudden. Yeah, because that's why I think the bad, the pollution, the air pollution, probably caused the virus. And we're all wearing masks and all that, you know. And then all that's bring, you know, all the garbage and everything else. I mean, that's, you know, that's my take on it. But, you know, the weird part is I don't have to wear a mask outside when I'm working. I have to wear a mask inside. So, you know, I'm wearing my tinfoil hat mentally here. But, uh, you know, the way it is. Uh, so... We'll see what happens. Um, another thing that is going to be happening tonight, SmackDown. Yep, tonight is SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> um, an Intercontinental Championship match between AJ Styles and Drew Hulak. That'll be a heck of a matchup, I should say. Uh, that'll be great. And uh, we saw a cruiserweight war on uh, NXT between Drake Maverick and Breezango, because you know Tyler Breeze has been taking part in the cruiserweight division as of late. And they'll be going against um, Legato del Fantasma. That's the team of, of the Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar, um, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. And it seems like Escobar will be the uh, be the official Cruiserweight Champion because um, um, the Jordan Devlin story. As you know, um, earlier um, last month, um, this is uh, speaking out, hashtag speaking out, a lot of uh, trainees, uh, wrestling trainees and wrestlers, came out with sexual um, um, harassment accusations against some of the uh, wrestlers who were training and coaching them and all that. Um, Jordan Devlin's name was on there. So if the W and the WWE already released Jack Gallagher, so that erases him for the Cruiserweight division. If they fire Jordan Devlin, then I think what's going to happen was if they release Jordan Devlin, I think you're going to see uh, I think that will strip him of the Cruiserweight title and Santos Escobar will be the undisputed Cruiserweight champion of NXT. So, so that will be, and then you add Drake Maverick to the Cruiserweight division as well, that will be a trade-off. And what's going to happen with Evolve? How, how is Evolve going to work into this? It's going to be very interesting to see what they're going to do. Are they going to do another invasion? I don't know. Lots of questions, lots of questions in wrestling, lots of questions concerning the summer, what's going to happen and all that. A lot of questions, folks. You know, I felt like the Riddler after Batman kicked his butt in uh, uh, um, Batman Forever. You know, too many questions, too many questions, you know. So it's like, oh boy. Um, so I don't know. And ladies and gentlemen, I have this big news too. Uh, I have tried this. Um, I went to 80 com and I decided to use the debit card that I used for um, for my while I was collecting unemployment, and uh, so I bought two shirts. And it will be very interesting when they're going to come in and all that. It's allowed five to eight business days, but with COVID nineteen, it could delay that. We'll see what happens. And um, I haven't bothered. I haven't bugged ETs.com yet about them. Um, two shirts. I can't wait to show you what they are if they come when they come in. And with the holiday, it could further. I could get them by next week. Who knows for sure? Um, so I'm really excited. Um, you know, people would say uh, this shirt was part of 80stees.com, right? No, I found this one on, I believe either eBay or Amazon. I think it was eBay. I bought this shirt because Soundwave's my favorite Decepticon. 
And they will say, who you got in favor, Autobot? Rodimus Prime, you know. So, and I think I've got another favorite Autobot, a.k.a. Dinobot Grimlock. That's another one. Another favorite Decepticon, Thundercracker. Why? The name is cool. That's all I'm going to say. Um, if I had a third favorite Autobot, be Blaster. We definitely be Blaster. And then favorite Decepticon, Bruticus. Yes. So, yeah, see, uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, there's a lot of questions, a lot of uh, things going on. Uh, in this first week, uh, first couple weeks of July, first few days of July, um, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna mess around any longer. So uh, once I get these episodes up there and all that, and I've been buying um, uh, USB drives of 256 gigs, so and I'm adding my my videos on that and everything else and this. It's been crazy, man. It's been crazy, dude. It's been crazy, man. So, uh, despite the summer not being what I always had over the, uh, few, uh, for, for many summers and all that, uh, I'm going to try to make the most of it and make the best of it. And that's probably the way I'm going to go about it. Yeah, I'm getting trolled, but so what? Who cares? Because uh, they're all doing it. All they're doing is a bunch, a bunch of lies and immaturity and just, you know... Whatever. They want to make fun of me. They want to do disgusting comments. All I got to do is report their butts, and that's what I've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, praise the Lord. Um, so, so that's what's going through my mind right about now. So, I'm just, uh, I'm just totally stoked, man. <laughs> I'm totally stoked about what's been going, uh, what will happen in the summer and whatnot. What could happen, what can, won't happen, and all that. And I'm just going to use some wisdom and use God's wisdom and just, you know, do a lot of thinking. And uh, until then, I'm just going to ch- uh, sit back, chill out, relax, and have some fun and uh, do my thing here on YouTube. That's all I always do. I do it best and I do it well. All right? And uh, my hair's a little. <laughs> so, hello. How you doing? Go that way. All right. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And, um,. And I hope uh, God's blessed. God has blessed you. Um, God's gonna bless you. And um, let's just um, let's say, for all intents and purposes, just try to have a good summer, despite what's been going on. Try to make the most of your summer. Try to make the most of everything going on. And um, if you have to, if you have to be uh, be away from people, just relax. Don't be mean to anybody. Just relax. Say, hey, I need to, I need some me time. I need to chill. They'll probably understand. It said, take all the time you need. Just relax and just roll. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. See ya.